All right, uh, so now, as we have seen how to solve uh, linear second order um, homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients, we're going to uh, to continue with non-homogeneous differential equation. Right, uh, so the non-homogeneous linear differential equation is basically the, the same thing, only the right-hand side is now a function of x, right? So, and the uh, real-life intuition is that um, if, say, uh, the left hand side describes the motion of some kind of physical system like a um, like a vibrating string then the right hand side uh, describes the force acting on, uh, on on the system okay uh, now the thing about non-homogeneous differential equations is that in order to solve a non-homogeneous differential equation you need to first solve the homogeneous differential equation right so and here is how it works so if we remove the right hand side then what we get the uh, what is called the associated homogeneous equation to the non-homogeneous equation right and the, 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 there is a um, a relationship between uh, solutions of non-homogeneous differential equations and the homogeneous differential equations and this relationship is very similar to what we have in a linear algebra you know, th there is a relation between uh, homogeneous systems of uh, linear equations, algebraic equations, and the corresponding non-homogeneous systems. So if you know linear algebra, then you will uh, uh, recognize uh, the, the, the similarity. If you don't know linear algebra, don't, don't worry too much. I mean, it's, it's really, uh, you, you don't really have to know it to, to understand it. Now, um, so here is the main theorem, um, right? So if, if we have a non-homogeneous differential equation, let, let me give you an example, okay? So let me give you an example. So suppose that um, somehow I figured out that uh, the, well, generally speaking, a differential equation has infinitely many solutions, right? And suppose that I somehow I, I figured out uh, how to find just, just one of possible solutions of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So suppose that I know that um, x squared is some solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So uh, we, we call it a particular solution. So any particular solution, right? Okay, uh, of the non-homogeneous differential equation. And uh, suppose that at the same time, I managed to solve the associated homogeneous differential equation, and I found that the solution of the uh, associated homogeneous differential equation is e to the minus x times, say, c1 cosine x plus c2 sine x, something like this, right? So then it means that in order to construct the general solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, I just add these two things together. So it's going to be x squared plus e to the minus x c1 cosine x plus c2 sine x, right? So it is as, as simple as that. Right. So to solve a non-homogeneous differential equation, uh, you need to somehow figure out just, just one solution. You don't have to find uh, all of them at the same time. So you don't need to know infinitely many of them. You just need to figure out one of them. And then in order to get the general solution, what you do is you add the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation. Right. So let me prove the, this theorem. Um, if you don't understand the proof, don't, don't worry too much. So you, you, you can just remember the, the main fact. Right, so but uh, if you do understand the proof, well, try to understand the proof. Uh, so maybe it'll help you to um, to develop better intuition for homogeneous differential equations. Right, so he, here is the proof. So here we have again. So we have um, non-homogeneous differential equation a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals f of x. Right, and we have y uh, p. So th this is a particular solution of the uh, hom non homogeneous differential equation, and there is also uh, yh, which is the general solution of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, right? So the, the same thing, but with zero. Now, uh, in order to prove that every solution of the non homogeneous, so that the general solution um, of the non homogeneous equation is of the form yp plus yh, we need to, to prove actually two things. So the first thing is that we need to prove that. Uh, every function of the form yh plus yp is a solution of the um, 
non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So is a solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So of, uh, well, basically of, of this, this. Okay, so let, let, let me verify. So let's, let's just substitute it to the equation and see if it works out, right? So um, A, so if my Y is YH plus YP, right? So then uh, A Y double prime plus B Y prime plus C Y equals, this is going to be equal to A. So Y double prime is going to be YH double prime plus YP double prime plus um, B. Now Y prime, so it's going to be YH prime plus YP prime plus C times uh, YH plus YP. All right, so now let me group together everything with YH. So this, this is going to be A YH double prime plus, oh, sorry, plus uh, B YH prime. So let me just, just uh, cancel them. Plus C YH. So plus A Y P double prime plus B Y P prime plus C Y P. Okay, all right. So, but now notice that this thing um, is zero because by by definition Y H uh, is a solution of the homogeneous differential equation, right? So it means that if we substitute it into the homogeneous differential equation, we get zero. And this is f of x because of essentially the, the, the same reason, since we know that yp is a solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So the, the, this is really zero plus f of x, so which is just f of x. Okay, so, um, right? So in, in the first step, I have shown that yh plus yp is indeed a solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? But is it true that every solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation can be written in this manner? Or probably there do exist some um, solutions of the non-homogeneous differential equation that cannot be written in, in this way, right? So let, let, let me uh, show you that it is not the case. And indeed that every solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation can be written in this way, right? So uh, let me uh, erase my um, whiteboard. All right. So now I need to show that every every y, let's say, uh, that is a solution of this differential equation um, can be written. as yp plus yh, right? Okay, so how do I do that? So if I have y, and I know that y is a solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So then, um, well, basically, I, I want to write uh, y as y particular, the particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation plus something else, right? But, you know, it's just that w what that something else is going to be. So it has to be y minus y particular, right? So in, in order for this to, to make sense, it has to be this, right? So, which means that I, I need to check whether this y minus y particular, whether this can be thought of as yh. So in other words, what I need to check is that, is it true? Is it true that uh, y minus yp is a solution of the homogeneous differential equation. Of the, well, homogeneous differential equation. So the left-hand side equals zero. Well, how do we know if this is true? In order to see whether this is true, we just need to plug it into the differential equation, right? So we need to, to, to basically verify this so let me verify this right so let me plug it into the differential equation so let me plug it here 
as as essentially as y. So a y minus y p double prime plus b uh, y minus y p prime plus c y minus y p. Uh, so this is going to be so first I'm going to group together all the terms with y. So it's going to be a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y uh, minus. Now I'm going to group all the terms with y y p. All right, so it's going to be uh, a y p double prime plus b y p prime plus c y. Okay, but then this thing is is just f of x, right? So because since we assumed that uh, y is a solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, so this is f of x, and this thing is also f of x, right? So because y p is again, it is a particular solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, so it has to satisfy the, the, that differential equation. So it's f of x minus f of x, which is zero, which tells us that y minus y p is in fact a solution of the uh, homogeneous differential equation, right? So, and it is true. So now we, we have seen that every solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation can be written as the sum of the particular solution plus some solution of the non-homogeneous differential, differential equation, right? So, and at the same time, we know that every function of the, the, this form is a solution of the um, uh, non-homogeneous differential equation. But that, that precisely means that it is the general solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation, right? So that's basically how it works.